he can find a path to his base. Tofu's close. Oh, he's a he's fuck. Call, chop, goodbye, oh, wow. tomato. You know, opportunity, and you can turn the game, so. Right, Celery on his edge. They're playing a tempo carry. This time it's going to be the Weaver by Duraccio. Tofu on his bat. The Leshrac is also a Gaming Gladiator staple, so I feel like they're running some very, how to say, some of their characteristic heroes, but maybe not necessarily in the pairings that they've had the most success with. I think the Weaver Ench has been very good for them, but oftentimes their good Lesh games are with Io, for example. The Axe is a little bit of a curveball. Uh, OG are playing what I would consider overall more meta for this patch. You know, strong team fight with the Brewmaster Puck in the Void. Um, so the, it's a clash of styles. And we've seen Game and Gladiators take over games of this type in like 20 minutes, especially with their Ench. Mm -hmm. So really that top lane for me is the lane to watch. Can Celery and Duraccio get off to one of their incredible starts with this type of lane? No, OG are already trying to counteract it by just straight up pulling the wave. Like Ari just said, nope, we're not going to play this lane normally. We'll pull it between the towers. And funnily enough, bottom lane looks like to be a similar situation. So nobody really wants to lane. All right, let's talk about Axe. The only hero that actually matters in this game, Cinderin, because it's yep. not picked literally every game like all these other heroes. Uh, how do you like it this game? Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's very good against Void, and it has its moments against Muerta, but she's obviously being played as a support here, so not as important. Um, it's all right. I think what often is the problem for Axe is if his laning stage goes bad, I feel like his recovery curve is very steep, but when you see a faceless Void, you, you kind of know that you're going to have a good time, so I think that's already step one for Ace. Uh, and the other thing is, do you have some sort of strong follow-through for when you get a blink call? If you can't solo kill the cores, who's going to help you? In this case, the left track's pretty good. Weaver, being a tempo carry, is good at connecting on calls as well. Can easily reach the target you're on with Shikuchi and get a couple of swings in the kill. So, I, I think it's alright. I'm not like, wow, this is the best X game ever, but it... It's alright. Well, we'll see how well it works this game. Hopefully it's amazing so we can see it a lot more. As Tamada, you can see right now, struggling a bit in the lane, only six CS so far. Yeah, this is a tough one for Void. And on the other side, uh, the Weaver 10 and 5, so not, I mean, it's not that big of a difference yet. So quite early on, but forcing the time walk as Duraccio oh. making his way over now, knowing that Tamada does not have his Chronos for either. He is chopped to the ground. Donk him up! And Ari looks to be next on the list. He actually is level 6, so does pop pierce the veil. But eventually he will end up dropping as well, and the only question is, will it be another calling stack? Yes! Non-stop pressure. OG just keep teleporting to lanes to solve problems. Like they're, Sorry, go ahead. They're just actually putting out fires, right? Very mobile carry player. All right, Tower finally does die. Coil onto two as the Axe makes his rotation over, but Quinn taking a ton of damage. Whisper gets off the primal split. A dead Lashrak again. Seb will be the trade for now. And now Ace on the run. Illusory Orb clips two. The model even makes his way over as well as Ace trying to get the call, but not going to find anyone. Ends up dying to Rachio with a time. Okay. Time lapse did go off, but now the Chronosphere comes in, getting all three teammates in the area. Is very far down the ladder here in sixth. And Void, not known to be a hero that comes back very well in terms of farming speed, oftentimes finds the comeback Baby. for fights. Yeah, this is lovely. That is axe. orgasmic. That is a dagger on the way. Delicious. We're going to clean that one up, and OG cannot be happy with this development. And the kill score, it looks oh, even, but this game not is Not over yet, long. apparently. Whisper dies again, close to his tier 2 tower. Seb gets off a decent ult with the coil being applied to several heroes. Might be the death of Celery, although he's I, I living have. through it with the nature's attendance. And now Seb might pay the ultimate price. Ace comes in with another taunt, and down goes the Crystal Maiden. Oh, nice silence, though. Damn Waning it. Rift is enough to get the right clicks off onto Duraccio. Path to his base. Tofu's close. Oh, he's a Ace, fuck. call, chop. Goodbye, oh, wow. Tomato. Lovely. Whisper. He's now going to get gone on. Split Earth and Lasso. Not the greatest of layering, but the call comes in from Ace. Oh, Seth will uh, the be the target. The Lamb. Oh, he's gone. Chop. Number six for Ace. 
Eight. All right, here we go again. Call comes in, dead shot though, but the split earth is there to layer and the chop. And it's Ari now, flame broken and lassoed. Looking for the call. Oh yeah, that feels good. And just, oh, the call onto the high ground. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I want to see from Ace. <laughs> there was a 0% chance of killing there. Just draws all attention to himself. Step, Step you have died. Also drawing attention to himself. You have died, young man. Oh, wait a second. Tamara comes in with a double chrono, trying to focus down the edge, but that's a little bit slow. Dead shot with the coil. And it looks like OG will punish this move from Gaiman. That was such, <laughs> I almost want to say obvious bait. Like Sep just placed himself in the middle of the map and started killing a centaur creep. But... Oh, if he gets spotted here, they saw him, they saw him. No. Uh oh, no way. Oh my goodness. Lasso into call. TP's are coming. The chop is there again though. The coil only on the one. Breaks it immediately, now trying to walk away. Another dead shot clipped Duracho in the end, but I'm surprised he didn't do more of a dent into Tomato there with the items that he has. Yep, dead shot. Ace. Now on to Ace. This tanky. Only in half HP is Tomato closing the gap. That's the Chrono, of course. We'll use it. The rest of his team will walk into it this as they do. Awkward. Very poorly played there as Ace now calls, looking for a potential chop, but Tomato time walks away. Ace was using the Bloodstone there. The coil's gonna snap. And he's still very tanky, but eventually OG gets what they came for. Tomato though, lassoed and soloed essentially by Tofu. Get to do more damage to Kree. Ace, finding Not Tomato, but the protection is there from Ari. Okay. This will be another long for coming in, it feels yeah, like. Sellers in the vicinity as well. Tomato has to be careful. The counter helix is owning him right now as Seb with a bit of a zoning ult. They're just trying to keep their distance from Ace, but they really want to kill him as Tofu gets the initiation again onto the void. Yule's up into the air though, is this enough damage? Yes, Tomato dies again. And guess who's still alive? Ace. They couldn't finish the job. Okay. If your axe can do this, imagine if the team is there from the beginning, right? He literally yeah, played true. 1v4 Chop. for 10 seconds. Ten. Still didn't die. A counter fort aggressively from Gaiman. They want to keep going. That's the call to start. Duraccio coming with his BKB already activated. They focus down Sen right off the bat. He's dead for 40, no buyback. Duraccio time lapse. A decent amount of HP back. Conditions are just bad, right? I, I don't think Tomato has played a particularly bad game. It's not Tomato's really, really difficult. No. Tomato's a very good player. He's very attractive as well. That's a, probably more important for pro players these days. Is that caught off guard? He's gonna go down. It'll be the trade for Tofu. Shortest lasso in history. Yeah, the lasso doesn't last too long there as Ace pops the Bloodstone. Whisper, Primal Split. Splitter though coming in from Quinn. Chop number one from Ace into a call and seb with a rare failed voice line he thought they had the axe when seb starts voice lining in the middle of the fight okay this fight seb is breaking really the hard smoke. bzm with a nice waning rift into coil onto two looks like seb is going to be the sacrifice again although tomato coming in with a nice chrono onto three heroes be able to take out tofu to start now trying to focus down the weaver silenced up and down goes Duraccio. no buyback and Zari. Left all alone now, will be surrounded, eventually brought down, it seems. As the Pulse Nova will be able to get the kill. Not bad from OG. Yeah. That was about a 5k swing. They find the big kill on the Weaver. If you have not been watching. Oh, sorry. I was... I can't count. Understandable. I already have a... Upgraded Yules as the Berserker call from Ace. No chop this time, too much damage. Damage overload for him. Just like that, it's a five versus two, not including the Aegis or the Cheese. BZM and Tomato, the last remaining members of OG, the Chronosphere onto three heroes into zero damage. Pretty much been the story of the game as GG is called. So, Gaiman with a much needed win should point that out again og coming into this three and one so they've been doing extremely well whereas gaiman getting off to a very bad start uncharacteristic uncharacteristic for them one and three so